before we start talking about trees, I want to talk about some of the, the um, terms that we use, the vocabulary that we use, the nomenclature that we use, to make sure that everybody's on the same page, that when I say things, um, we know what we're talking about. And so here's a tree, and for this particular tree, I'm going to label my tree with letters, but mostly um, we actually use numbers. So there's different terms that describe different parts of the tree, and I want to make sure that everybody's um, okay. So the first thing, the most important part of the tree is the root, the root of the tree. And keeping up with the tree analogy, the things that have no children, which is sad for them, not really, are called leaves. Okay? Which leads me to a joke, because computer scientists draw their trees like this. Mathematicians draw their trees from left to right. And biologists, so if you look in the origin of the species, and this is the root of the mathematician's tree, they go left to right. Biologists, if you look in the origin of the species, there's only one figure, the book by Darwin that you guys should read. There's only one figure, and that figure is a tree, and um, he has the leaves. He probably even spelt it correctly. He has the leaves on the top and the root on the bottom. And this clearly goes to prove one thing. Biologists are the only people that go outside. We put the root at the top because it's the most important thing. Okay? That's the thing that we're going to access. That's the thing that we're going to use. We always know where the root is. And so we go into the root. Anytime we're getting into a tree, we always go in through the root. So we've got the root. And then we have some nomenclature, which is sort of based on ancestry. So this is a child. This is its parent. And this is its grandparent. This is also a child. H is a child of D. D is a child of B. B is a child of A, and so on. And then we typically um, describe trees in the feminine. I don't know why. So we have child, parent, grandparent. So your mother's sibling, and these nodes are siblings. Your mother's si sister, if she has one, is an aunt. Okay. So for this node G, the aunt is B. And then, so we have got siblings. We've got leaves, we've got children, parents, grandparents, aunts. And then the key is that each, oops, that's a node. Each thing in our tree, each item in our tree is a node. And we're going to build off the same analogy that we've used in linked lists and hashes with nodes where we add things. And then we have an edge. And an edge joins two nodes together. Okay. We can talk about levels of the tree. This is level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3. So we, we say that these nodes are on the same level. Okay? D, E, F, and G are on the same level. 